what you're looking at right now, this is the Atom Stack Maker A30 Pro laser engraver. Now I've shown that to you before, but I'm going to use it today to show you this. This is a laser cam sent to me by a very nice lady named Tina from Mintian. And I haven't even opened this box yet, so I'm just gonna reposition the camera and we'll take a look at what is in here. All right, let's see just what is in this box. Okay, laser cam quick guide manual. That could be interesting. Some brown paper squares for using to set the focus on this. And that card with the dots. There's the gimbal. The clamp that will hold this on the frame of the laser engraver. Okay. This is looking like a, oh, a tripod, okay. Some various cables. More cables, more cables. Oh, a very funky little caliper. Not sure if I'll be using that or not. I have plenty of calipers. All right, an adapter to go from the 110 volts to the USB. And this, I take it, is the camera. All right. So I will go through everything here, get it hooked up, ready to start using it, and I'll be back. What is that that you're looking at right now? That is the Mintian laser cam. It's one of the newer light burn cameras, and the light burn cameras are something fairly new, and I, this is the third one that I'm going to take a look at, and it does a number of things the others don't, so I wanna just check out, see what kind of quality we'll get with them. Now the first thing, something that they all do, is let you precisely position something on a surface, an image, or a drawing or something you want to engrave. So I'm gonna start by using my logo. I've just got it sized to 20 millimeters square. And I want to engrave that on this piece of cardboard. So what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to frame it. This will make sure that I'm in the right position. And now I'm going to burn it, and I'll speed this up. All right, that took about a minute and 10 seconds. So now I'm going to update the overlay after I zoom in here. And you should be able to see what it burned and it's slightly off but that is off by I'm sure less than a millimeter however let's bring that down and line it up I'm going to move this over now and you can also of course rotate it if you want so let's just rotate that a little bit and repeat this procedure and see what this one turns out like All right, in case I didn't make it obvious, the view you have is from that camera looking straight down on what we have set up here to be recorded, pardon me, to be engraved. So now if I move this over here and update again, 
Now you can see that it's almost perfectly lined up. That's out much less than a millimeter. Now why is that a big deal? I mean, who cares what you're going to burn on a piece of cardboard? But what if you take a few pieces of walnut like this and put them in here at different angles and you want to engrave something on those pieces. All right, let's update the overlay again. And that shows those pieces. Now I'll bring this in. I'm going to rotate it, make it square to this piece or close to square. And I'm just going to move it up over here. Now I need to adjust the focus on this laser. So I will move it over here. These pieces of walnut are all the same thickness. So if I adjust it for this one, it'll be adjusted for all of them. Okay. Now I'll hone this. Update the overlay again. And let's just see how it burns on there. I'm going to change that to 3000 millimeters per minute. It's going to burn a little darker that way. Frame it. Now that looks to be well off. Having changed the focus, of course, it's going to change the, where it burns. So, one more time, make sure we're on that board and just start it. All right, now look how close we are. That's just about right on. So let's see. I move this. This way, you can adjust this a little bit until you get it as precise as you want. Now I'm going to move this over here to this corner, rotate it, and I'm going to do the same thing one more time. Let's see how perfect this one will be. Once more, update the overlay, and you can see that is pretty much perfect. Now, why would this be a big deal? Well, as you can see, I have five pieces of walnut on here. I'll just flip that one over, update this again, move this over into this corner. I'm going to use Control D to make a copy of that one, put it over on here. I'm going to set these pieces, each one with a logo, and just see how well these turn out on all of these. All right, let's just try this and I'll be back after it's burned. All right, the burns look pretty good, but what about the positioning? So now if I update the overlay, and you can see they are very close. This one's almost perfect. Each one's gonna be a little bit different because they're off the center of the focal point of that camera. However, this is out by maybe two millimeters. No, I don't even think it's that much, but anyway, I'm really pleased with this. And that's just one of the features of this particular light burn camera. So let's see, what else can this do? The next thing that I believe is going to be very handy is this flame sensor. The purpose of this, obviously from the name, is to alert this machine if a flame happens to break out while it's working. Now, you should never leave this unattended, but there are times when 
that will happen. And one of those times is something I'm going to show as a feature for this coming up. All right, now, the way this works is you attach it to your laser module, wherever it's going to fit and work properly. Now, on this side, I don't have room for it because, for one thing, the hose is going to come down from the air assist and impede its progress. Also, if I was to bring this forward, you will see that there is not enough space between this frame and the module for this to fit in there. So I don't want to crush this. However, when it's at its zero x-axis position, there's plenty of room in here. So I'm going to put this on right there. To do that, I'm going to use some double-sided tape that was included with this. Just put this on here. All right. Now I can just mount this. I'll mount it down as low on this frame as I can. Just making sure that it's not going to be in the way of anything else. To power this sensor, I'm going to use this USB-C cable end, put it in here, and then I'm going to run this cable with some of these zip ties across this cable, around here, and to a USB hub I have over there for the power. I've placed this cardboard back in here so that you can see this zip tie against it. Now, I may have mentioned this in the past, I'm not sure, but in case I haven't, just for safety's sake, cutting these zip ties off can leave an extremely sharp edge. They're just as sharp as any knife I own, I believe, and it's not a good idea to do that. So what you can do is just take a pair of pliers, snug it up against that end, and twist it off. And if you twist it off, it'll twist off inside there, and you're actually quite safe. So just keep that in mind for the future. There is an app that comes with this laser cam and its associated pieces. It's called Beagle Engrave. And I need to connect this flame sensor to this app. So we'll go in here, hit this gear icon, go down to Bluetooth devices, and we will load it right away. And there it is, it's showing up. So we'll put that on here. I think it's a good idea to always frame your work before you start the burn. Just to make sure it's in the right place. All right, so it moves aside after it shuts down, and that's a good safety feature. You don't want a fire breaking out in your shop. If for some reason you do not want to use light burn, you can put files into this laser cam and use those to burn whatever you want to put. Now I've put one of my logos onto that little SD card, and you can see here, 
looking at the computer screen, you can load that and it shows up in here. Now all you have to do is click on the carving button and it will start to carve it. I'll point out first that there's also a status, con status and control page where you can do a lot of the moving and different things you want to do with it. So let's start the carving. And you can see it's going to carve that logo. You also have the option, if you want, of controlling it on your iPhone. And looking at the screen here, you can see the different choices you have. So let's let that burn and then we'll take a look at it. All right, always nice to have options, different ways of doing things, and this works really, really well. Another thing that's handy is to be able to record whatever you happen to be engraving, and you can do that again right from the phone. And I'm going to reach in here now and change the focus. This is off a little bit. Now when this is finished recording, I will be able to copy that file onto my computer and edit it just like I do with all the video from my GoPro cameras. Now this may be my favorite feature of this camera. I can set it wherever I want. As you can see, I have it now on its small tripod that comes with it. And I can monitor what's happening on my phone. So now I can just go over here. I can frame this thing that I want to engrave, which is my logo again. I've set it to 100 millimeters square. And I will start that. Now the nice thing about this is that I can leave this room, go up to the kitchen if I want to have lunch, and see what it's doing the whole time I'm there. So if I have a burn going that's going to last an hour, that's not a problem. I can still monitor what's happening in my shop. This will be a good test now for the Wi-Fi connection to make sure that this is going to work. I am now heading into the kitchen and this will be also a test of the audio coming through to my GoPro camera from here. All right, I'm going to put my lunch together now. And keep watching this. When it's finished, I'll go back down to the shop. Most of this, of course, I'm going to speed the video through. That was great. I was able to sit and have lunch and watch this to see what was happening on my phone. All right, I think what I want to do is do another test where I will burn something and then I will walk a block away and see if I'm still seeing it go. And yes, the burn turned out all right. I think that was about a 14 minute burn if I remember correctly. So I'd consider this a good test. All right, 
I'm going to burn this now. I've set this for 380 by 380 millimeters, but I have also set the power to zero to make sure I'm not starting a fire. This is just a test to see how far down the road we can walk. We're gonna go for about a 15 minute walk each way and see how it's working. So let me frame this to make sure it's not gonna hit an obstacle. Doesn't matter that it's off the cardboard. And now I will just hit start. All right, I'll mute most of this and then we'll be back. Now we're at 67th Street and Gates Avenue. We've walked about 15 minutes now. I was able to monitor the engraving during our entire walk. So I have to say I'm very happy with that. Not that I'm likely to go very far at any time. I am very happy with how this works. It's nice to be able to see right on your phone what it's doing in case you want to leave for a moment. There are a couple of other features I haven't explained or shown yet. For one thing, this is completely plug and play, so it's very easy to set up and use. Another thing is that there are three different choices for time-lapse videos, and I'm going to cheat a little bit here and use Mintian's own video to show how this works. It's just a quick little video, so I hope you'll take a look at this. I hope you have found this brief look at this camera as interesting as I find it. It's one thing that I know I'm going to keep around my shop, if only to monitor things that are going on while I need to be in another area. I'm going to put some links below the video so you can check this out if you like. I'm not sure if there are going to be discount codes or not. You'll have to check that out. Now I want to thank you for showing up today. I do hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll come back next time. Between now and then, have a great day in your shop and be safe. And I also want to thank sincerely all those people who have subscribed to my channel. You people mean a lot to me, more than I can tell you. Take care now. Bye-bye.